gives me great pleasure to introduce Ben, Ben Harper, incredible musician, songwriter. It's a pleasure to be here. No introduction. Ringo Starr. It's nice here. A rainy day in LA, sitting by the fire with a great artist. What more could a man want? That's me I'm talking about. <laughs> Is it true? I've heard this. I gotta have this story. You probably get so sick of people saying, "Is it true?" But I heard that you guys went to meet Elvis. Yeah. And he was working on his TV or something. He was doing something. You guys were waiting out there. There's Elvis. The Beatles are here. Oh, hold on. He's working. Then he came out. He's like, "Come on in, Beatles." Well, that's that close. Yeah, okay. That's close. Nothing like that ever. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when we uh, got to the door, first of all, we didn't know where we were. Uh, but then when we went in, he was actually playing his bass to the TV. And we thought, oh, well, okay, hey, Elvis, how you doing? Because it was Elvis. And he had a TV commander, you know, we come from England. And uh, that was like, wow, you can change channels without getting up. It was like all big news to us. You know, it was a great meet. He was as nervous as we were, really. Okay. So it's always a bit edgy and, you know, hello. We were always lucky, though, because it was four of us. So we always had, we always okay. had, you know, support. Okay. Anyway, so to clear that up, Right. Elvis was playing was bass, bass to, to the, the TV. TV. When you first joined the Beatles, were you thinking to yourself, well, this will be a good part-time hustle, and then I'll keep other irons in the fire? You know, was no. that, or we, did you, when you hit that, when you, we like, yeah. we've got something here from the first well, down beat. I, I, before I was, With I Rory. really knew the band, I'd watch the band. Oh, okay. They were yeah. one of those bands I'd go and watch, because okay. the front line, there was no better front line in Liverpool. Okay. John Paul and George. Okay. And so then suddenly, you know, I'm in bed, I'm a musician, it's noon, and there was a knock on the door, and it was Brian Epstein saying, would you come and play the session, because they wanted you to play the session, just one. Then it was all over, we went and got drunk, and then it was, you know, another day. And then it just, I did that three times, and then suddenly it was a call to play. It was the only band I wanted to play with, and so it was easy for me. Okay. Is the loudest thing you've ever heard Shea Stadium with the Beatles? Is that the loudest sound you've ever heard? Yeah. The problem with all of that was our amps were as big as this cup. You know what I mean? We had very little volume, so it just came, waved over you. I think, besides the, how loud it was, the size of it. Yeah, because that was kind of the first time that had been pulled off. So they say, yeah. yeah. First band to play a stadium. Shea Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why we stopped touring. You know, that is the reason, because, you know, the amps were so small, the volume we could get was so small, and we never got louder than the audience. Yeah. So if, you know, if we're playing whatever, you know, duh, 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 duh. if I went to do a fill, it just went into like nothing, because you go, oh, whack, oh, whack. Oh, man. Oh, whack, and oh, that's whack. musically frustrating, because oh, you yeah. want the, yeah. You know, so what you do, you would tend to keep pulling back and just go, keep the whack going, you know, just keep okay. everyone in time. I'm watching their feeds, whatever's moving. Oh, that's where we're up to, you know? I brought you something. Oh, okay. I'm a closet drum fanatic. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. What I think is a pretty unique drum. It's a Ludwig from the 30s. Oh, it's a Ludwig. And it has a snare on the top. Oh, it's like an old... Oh, on, on the, the bottom, bottom, too? On the bottom as well. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. How great is that? That's for you. No, I've never, ever seen that. How great. Maybe the, uh, the band would do a bit of a marching thing. Oh, okay. You know, after the swing session, they'd go into a march, and this would really pick up. Very yeah, cool. Well, thanks. That is great. My pleasure. And oh, I've got a little gift for you, on. Elizabeth. Just the one piece of love, Ben. You only get them if I give them to you, because I had them made. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. Well, if I'd have known you were going like this, no, I no, no. I did. I hope I didn't put you on the spot, but it's the least I could I could do. Well, well anyway, thanks. That's great. All you've given me, musically. Okay. There's more love songs. Love, love, love. Peace and love, I'm still doing that, you Never know, enough. peace and love, brother. I was listening to yours today, and yours is a lot of love, and gospels in there a bit, and stuff like that, it's great. I'm trying to fit that in. Yeah. Of all the songs you've played, is there one song that stand, like, that you go back to as being, like, the song that you've played? No, there's lots, okay. there's lots, but I mean... Because you it, played on Imagine. I did. You're the drummer on Imagine. I played on Come Together. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Which has got, like, the... The part and rain. I've always mentioned rain because I felt I played on rain differently than I ever played up to that point or since that point. Okay, that okay. was the rain. Is the, yeah. was the one. People every time I put a band together, going to say, "What? Well, you're still doing it?" 
Well, this is what I do, you know, and as B.B. King always says, as long as we can stand up, we got a job, you know. That, see, that so as long me. as I can hold two bits of wood, I can play. That know? drives me nuts when people say, people were asking me, oh, what do you, should Led Zeppelin be back together? I mean, I can't even comprehend the question. It's like, well, what, what should Jimmy Page go become a school teacher? Like, yeah. what do you want? Of course he should. Like they, I just keep saying, well, I'm not a plumber. Yeah. I'm a drummer, okay? That's it. <laughs> I think Zeppelin should get back together. The Zeppelin I think they was should awesome. do the biggest tour known to man. Wouldn't that be the business? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, look, it's been great talking to you. Great to talk with you. And, thank you. you know, we do what we do best, and that's play, and I'm about to do that, so I'll say thank you, and that's it. Let me give you a hug, big guy. Thank you. Thanks. God bless you.